Hello everybody, I am Wizard with Never Aging Gamers. Y'all normally see me on PUBG PC playing as NAG Wizard or Twitch-NAG Wizard as I stream Tuesday through Thursday playing PUBG on Twitch. I also stream Mondays and Fridays, but that's retro and uh, horror slash sci-fi. Uh, but today we're going over PUBG on the mortar. So PUBG PC controlling the mortar how-to. So Right now, we're in the training mode where you can actually control to get the mortars. So we press the key to the right of M, which is what, the comma key. And we're going to go to ETC and get our mortars. We're going to go ahead and pick up two mortars first, as I want to show you all a few things. We'll also pick up a Panzerfaust. And we'll go to tactical gear and pick up a tactical pack then of course for ammo we're gonna need some 60 millimeter mortar shells as that's what the mortar takes get our level three gear okay and now as you see here we parked our bike roughly about 130 150 meters away now when we place the mortar first off whenever you pick up the mortar it takes over a weapon slot so right now we are holding a Panzerfaust but we're gonna go and pick up the mortar as we pick it up it will automatically replace the weapon that we are carrying now if we're carrying a panzer if we're carrying a weapon and we want to not put it in our weapon slot but put it on inventory you have to drag it over and it'll go straight there it won't do anything to do with your weapons and then the mortar shells can go in your inventory as well now if you need to the mortar shell can also go in the tactical pack the mortar itself will take one full slot the mortar shells the 60 millimeter mortar shells three will fit in per slot so we have nine mortar shells in the tactical pack along with the mortar. Now, let's get down to placing it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the mortar in our inventory, in our weapon slot. And as you look down, you'll see yellow where you can place it. Where you can't place it, it'll show up as red. So on downhills, you cannot place it. It will not take it on a, on a, uh, on flat surface so only flat surfaces it'll take it on grass it'll take it on concrete and most other terrain as long as it's flat so even on a mountain if it's flat enough now things like this also do change throughout the seasons so to this date that is accurate now we're gonna left click where it's yellow to place the mortar which takes a few seconds and you press F to operate it. Now, if a vehicle is coming or someone's coming up at shooting at you right when you're starting to take, take control of it, press F again to get off of it. So now we're gonna go back and press F and we're gonna use the mouse to steer left and right. Up and down doesn't work for the moving the mouse wise, but on the mouse, if you use the wheel, the center wheel, it'll scroll up and down. So if you scroll the wheel on the mouse upwards, then the distance goes down as it raises the mortar. Now if you roll backwards, down, it goes up as it lo the mortar lowers and the distance goes up to 700 meters. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate this to be roughly about 130 something. So it goes between 121 meters to 700. And it only goes in certain increments. So in the 100s, if you scroll up or scroll back to go up or a farther distance, technically down farther distance, moving the wheel backwards, you'll see it goes up to 204 meters. But I go back down, it's traveling in 12s. So 121, 133, 145. But as soon as I get the 200s, At 228, it changes to 11, to 239. Then it goes by 11s after that. And then in the 300s, it 
It's still going by 11. Now it's down to 10. By 350, it's down to 10. And so on. So as you get higher up there, like in the 700s, or 600s to 700s, towards the end, it starts to go one at a time. Like from 690, 691 up, it's one at a time up there. So that's how it goes back and forth for the adjustment. So if it's really close, you could miss your target between the two of them, like the 121 and 133, because of that gap in between it, the 12 meter gap. So now we're going to calculate this to be, let's say, 133 meters first. We have it lined up with our mark. So let's say you have your teammate on the map, mark it where it's at, and you're going based on the, the map on the distance. We're going to rough estimate this at 133 meters, and we're firing now. Now we're going to see if it hits it. Okay, so that means we need to readjust that. Let's do 157, because that was way off. Obviously, the left trigger shoots. Again, 193. Should have put a scope on this. That looked to be dead on. Let's see how dead on that was. Oh yeah, it's smoking. So this is actually 193 meters away. 192. So you can fire repeatedly with the left trigger. One, two. Looks like about a three second gap in between there whenever you fire. As we hit our target. Now with the mortar, you go up to it and press F and you get on it right away. It's not letting you pick it up, right? Well, if you press tab, you can still pick up the mortar. It doesn't just leave it there. And you can drag it into your inventory and run away. Now, the other thing is the mortar being, being placed down on the ground. As you deploy the, mo the mortar... If something hits this, it will hit it almost like a rock. It'll be solid. So if you put it in a bush and a car hits it, oh yeah, it's going to do some damage to, to the car. It'll also stop the car, and then you can ambush them. So if someone's coming after you and try to, tries to run you over, you just run away from the mortar, get off of it with F, hide, and if they hit that spot, they will crash, and then you can take them out. All right, well, hopefully that prepares you for the mortar and makes you want to get out there and start getting those targets. Definitely try to get your teammate to mark where the enemy's at so you can properly calculate that distance. Hope to see you out there on the battlefield.